Hey everybody and welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up custom gaming controls to help with things like dead zones using the Lenovo Legion Go, though this should work for other gaming handhelds as well. So let's go ahead and jump straight in. Now we have Destiny 2 pulled up here, but what I'm going to do first in the actual Steam application is I'm gonna click in the top left-hand corner and I'm gonna show you the generic controls. So when you go to settings, although this could change over time, you do have a controller option here, and you can scroll through to see all of the different support options that you can adjust. But as you scroll through, you'll see that there is a calibrate and advanced settings. And here you have output settings and joystick. So you'll see right here when we click in using A to select, we have the option to adjust the dead zone here, and then you can press Y to test it, and then you can repeat the process for the right joystick as well. Now, if that doesn't resolve any issues or kind of help with uh, any of the actual game options or, or really just change settings for you, you can change it on a game by game basis. So when you select your game, you can select the little controller icon, and then you'll see that you have your layout here. So here you can click on edit layout. And from this point, you'll have several different options on the left hand side. So you can scroll down and click joysticks and you'll have two settings options for the left and right joystick. So you can click settings and then you'll see that we have an option for dead zones here. You'll select this and select custom and you can actually start test and adjust things here and then you can adjust the actual dead zone using this slider here and you do also have a advanced dead zone option here for anti-dead zone buffer uh, and you can adjust those settings as well so you would basically get your setup and then once you've backed out you can repeat the process for the other stick as well so you'll see you can select the slider once you've actually gone through the testing if you want you can select the slider, adjust that setting, and then adjust the anti-dead zone settings down here after, again, you've selected that custom profile. And then you can back out, and then you can always double check those settings by clicking back in and making sure that they saved properly. And that's really all that there is to it. Now, when you're doing this, you're going to want to make sure, obviously, that you have that Steam input enabled or if you're using another application you would get it set up to make sure that that's enabled as well so that's really all that there is to it for this and then at that point you would launch the game from steam and you should be able to have those custom profiles or settings set up so i hope this was helpful if you have any questions drop them in the comment box below and i'll see you all in the next video